Hi Sagittarius. This is your Just Cause reading for September 2021. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for September 2021. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius. For September 2021, in love, universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for September 2021, in love, show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, sad. Sag, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mention it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Sag. This is you. This is your partner. So, Sag, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For September 2021, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Sag, is the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past, flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Sag, this is what's on both you guys' minds here. So, you know, you very well could be from each other's past. You may want to reunite here. You can tell me that something from the past was brought back up. Someone from... Either you or your partner's past is maybe back in the picture, or this may involve children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Sag, you very well could be working things out here, wanting to reunite here. Sag, it very well could be a third party involved, someone from your past or your partner's past may be in the picture. Sag, it could be some type of agreement or a contract, maybe involving children, maybe some type of support for children or some type of agreement for children here. We'll see. It could be work or business, you know, maybe someone, some employer from your past or your partner's past may be calling here. Sag, you have the Nine of Swords. You have the Seven of Cups. You have the Lovers. Huh. Your partner has the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> your partner has the Two of Cups. And your partner has the Page of Wands. So, Sag. Let's see. 
A mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is you guys may be trying to work things out here and maybe reunite with one another. Sag, it can be some type of agreement or a contract going on concerning, you know, maybe children or some type of past employer with work or business. Sag, you know, what else did I say? Um, <laughs> brain freeze <laughs> Sag, it could be a third party involved someone from your past or your partner's past so Sag, you have the nine of swords brain freeze okay this is you being anxious worried stressed replaying things over and over in your mind losing sleep at night worried about something so Sag, you're all up in your head worried about something something is bothering you clarify the nine of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now you're taking some time out to be alone. To do some soul searching, introspection. Searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance. Going within, looking for answers. So Sag could be dealing with a Virgo, but listen, you're telling me that, hey, you know, maybe I just need some me time. I really do. I really do. Sag, you can tell me you're doing some heavy duty soul searching here, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the, oh, wow. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Sag could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse or someone has commitment on the brain. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Sag, listen, you're telling me you're all up in your head, stressed and worried here. Maybe it's a bit of confusion. Sag, you can tell me that there was some type of lies or illusions or the fact that someone had other options and may have explored some of those other options, Sag. Hmm. I see confusion. Sag, you have the Seven of Cups again. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Sag, like I said, it could be all up in your head here, okay? Maybe a bit of confusion. You can tell me it was some type of lies or illusions, or someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Sag, listen, you could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. 
You can tell me that you want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or this is about the justice system, maybe the justice of the peace here. Hmm. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So, Sag, listen, it very well could have been some type of immature, premature communication had here. Or you're telling me you went looking and spying, Sag, and you saw something. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the page of of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So Sag, love messages and an apology here, right? Yeah. But Sag, it could also be someone coming in maybe with some type of proposal, but as a page here. Sad, you can tell me that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love because you may have gone looking here. Sad, you could also be some news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup and pages of children. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck, like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck. You know, this person could be coming in to apologize or coming in with some type of romantic gesture here, but as a page, okay? And you may be a bit of confused about it. You know, maybe it's immature, premature communication. It could be about going to the justice of the peace. However, Sag, you can tell me it was some type of lies or illusions that you went looking and you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love here. Sag, and this is the reason why you want to block them out. You're all up in your head. You're trying to block them out. You may even want to go to the justice system, okay? Maybe for a legal separation or divorce, possibly feeling stuck here. Sag, you could also tell me that you're finding out that there's some type of news concerning children here, Sag. Boy, Sag, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Sag, could be dealing with a Gemini. You can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull here. Twin flames, twin flames here. And maybe someone is wanting to go to the justice of the peace. And you're just stuck here. You're kind of confused here. You just, I don't know. I just don't know. But Sag, you could also tell me that someone had another other lover. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Sag could be dealing with a Pisces. You can tell me that, hey, you know, just feel like I'm in the dark here. You can tell me that you're using your intuition, Sag, or there was some type of secret. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon. 
for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So some type of news about practicality or commitment here now. Sag, listen, like I said, you can tell me that, hey, I just don't know. Things are a little cloudy, a little hazy here. This can be news about going into a commitment because we're twin flames. Sag, you can tell me that a secret came out concerning money, assets, resources, property, but money and maybe support for children here. Concerning some other lover, this is the secret. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. The chariots could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Sag could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the six of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. Listen, Sag. Listen, girl. Hmm. Uh, is someone from your past back in the picture? And you're just trying to use your intuition because I see this cloudiness here, okay? This confusion here. These options here, is it that you're all up in your head because you're needing to choose between this option, this partner, and someone from your past that's in this picture? Sad, you can tell me that, hey, you, because you may want to move forward with someone from your past, but Sag, is it that you're wanting to move forward because it's a secret that's coming out about them having another other lover? I don't know, Sag. It just seems like you're kind of stuck. Is it that this person from your past in the picture is speaking on some type of commitment and you're having to let this person go? This is why the confusion is here. This is why the stuckness is here. Sag, is this someone from your past who want to take you to go into some type of agreement or a contract? Maybe a marital contract? Sag, your partner has the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something or searching their emotions concerning something. Also, with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account, looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So, Sag, your partner is waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest here. Searching their emotions using their intuition here, Sag. Hmm... Why do I want to bring up some type of child support in here as well? I do. I do. I really do, Sag. Sag, your partner has two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So, Sag, your partner is saying that there is a soulmate connection here. Clarify the Two of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Two of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Two of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting, a little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So, Sag, listen, your partner could tell me that they're made to wait, okay? Because maybe you're moving forward towards someone from your past here. Maybe that was your decision here, Sag. You know, and your partner's saying, I'm willing to wait. Um, I'm going to be persistent here because Sag is my soulmate. However, Sag, your partner could tell me that they don't trust this soulmate connection for some odd reason here. Sag, <clears throat> your partner has the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Sag, listen, you guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument here. You know, your partner could be sending out passionate messages to you or you them. Sag, it could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Clarify the page of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the page of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the page of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. But may even be coming with a romantic gesture, Sag. So, Sag, listen, you guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument. And someone is wanting to come to apologize here. Sag, we could have found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. And there is an apology happening here. But, Sag, is this argument going down here? Because someone has a romantic gesture with someone else. Sag, this is wands here. This may be you telling them about some type of proposal. I don't, let's just see, honey, because see, clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups 
a Sagittarius' partner. The Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. But this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So sad. Your partner is telling me that everything has changed here. Your partner could tell me that this is about divine timing. Yeah. Or actual change in their luck and fortune. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Sagittarius's partner. Oh my God. <sighs> Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing your partner heartbreak. Now, Sag, listen. Who child? Let me tell you. Your partner may be hurt because they may have wanted to come in with some type of romantic gesture, an apology, Sag. And remember over here, you were like, no, I'm all up in my head. I'm confused here. I just don't know. I'm stuck. They could have came over here with this apology, Sag. And maybe you're blocking communication because you just don't want to deal with them at all. But Sag, you're clearly telling me that there is some type of secret. And this could be some type of news about commitment here and moving forward with someone from your past. Now, Sag, yes, this partner here could have wanted to come in and apologize or maybe even come with a proposal. And you're saying, you know what? I don't know. I'm using my intuition. I'm confused. I'm stuck. I don't know. I don't know. And maybe you just said no. They say, I'm going to be persistent. I'm just waiting. I love Sag. You know, but maybe you said no, and this is the heartbreak. But Sag, you could also tell me that, yes, you have a secret and you're moving towards someone from your past with some type of news of commitment. Is this a message from you with these wands over here about some type of proposal here that changes everything with you and this partner? And it hurts them to their heart because there's a third party. There's someone from your past here. Are you, are you all up in your head concerning commitment and stability? in these options that you have? Is this the confusion here? I hope you guys see what I see. Sag, I feel like, listen, yes, this person may want to reunite and go into some type of commitment with you and your answer was no. But Sag, someone from your past very well may be in the picture wanting to go into some type of agreement or contract with you to the justice of the peace with you, Sag. This is why all the confusion is here. The stuckness is here. Your partner is hurt because you said no or your partner is hurt because they're hearing the news of you getting hooked up with someone from your past, Sag. This is your Just Cause reading for September 2021. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.